Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at how we use would rather in English. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's lesson is looking at would rather, and we're looking at two different structures that would rather can take. We're looking at the would rather infinitive structure and also would rather uh, with a past tense, which is not a past meaning, it's a future or a present meaning. It's called the unreal past. So we'll have a look at how we use that as well. Now, would rather is not all that difficult. It's just basically a substitute for would prefer, I'd prefer, I'd rather, okay? So in that sense, there's no difference. But as I said, the difference can come from the tense change that we'll see in the examples. And then we will have a practice to see if we have uh, more or less understood the difference between the two. So the first thing I'll point out is that when we use would rather, the majority of the time we contract it, okay? Especially uh, if we have a subject like I, he, she, we, you, for example, we normally contract. And when we speak, even if we're using a person's name, for example, we normally contract it as well. And I'll show you some examples of how we could do that as well. But remember the contraction, I would, okay, I would. So let's have a look at the first two. So I, I'd rather cook than wash the dishes. Now that's a general statement, I'd rather cook than wash the dishes. And we see here that the structure is I'd rather cook, the infinitive without two. I'd rather cook than wash the dishes. Okay, so that's how we use the basic structure there. Things get a little bit more complicated in this one. I'd rather you cooked the meal tonight. And as we can see here, what we're doing here is that this is a past tense and here the difference is that we have this thing here, okay? So we basically, we have two subjects. So I'd rather you cooked the meal tonight. I'd rather you cooked the meal tonight. So basically when we uh, use a second subject, okay? So I'd rather you cooked, okay? Second subject, or we involve somebody else in the sentence we use a past tense. Now, it's not a past meaning, okay? It can be a present or a future meaning, it's not past. It's called an unreal past. I did another video on this before, so you can check that one out as well. So when we involve somebody else, so I'd rather you cooked the meal tonight. So I'd rather cook, there's no one else. I'd rather you cooked, okay? We use a past tense. So, with that in mind, let's practice. Now, the objective here is to look at the sentences, and this verb here, we're going to put either into a past tense or an infinitive according to whether we're involving somebody else, okay? So that's the basic rule. So let's have a look. Sam would rather her son, this verb here we have to put in here, tennis this year, but he'd prefer to play soccer. So Sam would rather, okay, her son played tennis, okay, played. So Sam would rather her son played tennis this year, but he'd prefer to play soccer. Now here I have separated the two, Sam would rather, but when we speak, we quite often say, Sam would rather, Sam would rather, okay? So we contract, but when we write normally, no, okay? When we write with the I, he, she, we, you, uh, etc., we can, but when we use the person, Sam, we don't normally contract when we write, only when we speak. Sam would, but Sam would when we write, okay? Now, Shall we order pizza for tea? Tea meaning dinner, okay? Tea meaning dinner, your 
uh, meal that you have around six or seven o'clock normally, or at least that's when I used to have dinner at six or seven o'clock. Shall we order pizza for tea? I'd rather Chinese. Now the objective here is that we have to put this verb here either in the past tense or the, in, or the infinitive according to the rule that I just explained. So what do you think? I'd rather have Chinese, okay? I'd rather have Chinese. So we're not involving somebody else here, okay? Shall we order pizza for tea? I'd rather have Chinese. There's no other person being involved. There's no second subject, let's say, okay? Can I have pizza tonight? Asks the boy. I'd rather you what? So here we are involving somebody else. So I'd rather you didn't, okay? I'd rather you didn't. It's not healthy. It's not healthy to eat pizza every day or once a week. So uh, can I have pizza tonight, says the boy. His mother says, I'd rather you didn't have pizza or I'd rather you didn't eat pizza, okay? Because it's not healthy. So again, we're bringing that person in to the sentence. Past tense. Are you going to call Sam or would you rather I what? Would you rather I what? Do is the verb we need to put in here. Are we involving somebody? Yes, we are. I or would you rather I did it? Would you rather I did it? So we are involving somebody else again here, okay? So past tense when we involve somebody, infinitive when there's no one else. So let's have a look at the next one. If you could choose, would you rather something London or Paris? Now the verb that we have here is visit. So if you could choose, would you rather visited or visit London? Which one do you think? Is there anybody else involved in this sentence? No, there isn't. So would you rather visit, okay? Would you rather visit London, okay, or Paris? So if you could choose, would you rather visit London or Paris? So there's no one else involved, the infinitive. The next sentence, John called and said he'd rather something us after dinner, visit. Anybody else involved? He'd rather, no, right? So he'd rather visit us after dinner dinner. He, he'd rather visit us after dinner. No one else involved. Next one. Mum would rather you, what's the verb? Do. Mum would rather you do or did your homework before you play football. Okay. Here we are involving. Mum would rather you did your homework before you play football, okay? So again, that person is being involved, the second subject. Mum would rather you did your homework before you play football. And the last one, the last one, let's have a look. My boss would rather we, okay, now we understand, right? My boss would rather we, the verb is wait. My boss would rather we, waited before signing the contract. He would prefer, or he would rather, we waited before signing the contract. So we can see here how we use it. If we involve a second person or a second subject, we do need to change the verb, okay, to that past tense, unreal. Remember, it's not a past meaning, it's a present or a future, but we're using the past tense. So when we involve that person, rather her son, Here's the second subject, played tennis, okay? And when we don't, we use the infinitive. Now, thank you very much for watching the video. Remember to leave a comment or a question below if you have one. Share the video on social media, please. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.